Ever had shrubs that are too large to trim and they're hiding a nice part of your home like a brick chimney? A client of mine did, so we decided to completely remove them and install a brand new garden. We did not dig them or pull them because of damage to piping or the home itself, so we chainsawed them down to the ground and left the stumps at ground level. The sun exposure was south, meaning we had an opportunity to plant many different species of full sun plants. So this was the area now ready for soil. We first used an edging shovel to create a bed line, meaning the outside edge of the bed. Cut a bed line at a 90 degree angle to contain the soil and mulch. Here is a picture of an edging shovel and how to use it. We then tilled with a small Toro tiller to loosen the existing soil so when we laid the new soil down, it didn't run off onto a hard surface. Here's a picture of the fresh topsoil. We used two cubic yards and had to unfortunately haul it into the area with a wheelbarrow. We raised the bed 18 to 20 inches and lowered it in spots as well. If possible, always have the soil dropped close to the design area, then all your energy is not used to haul it in, but just to grade off the soil. After the bed is graded, we place the plants for the design. Always research what plants will work, starting with the largest and working your way to the smallest. I would suggest designing on paper first. We use vanilla strawberry hydrangea, Cheyenne spirit coneflower, tall phlox, lavender, and lantana. Once plants are placed, start digging the holes from back to front, digging all the holes first. Make sure they are deep enough to cover the root ball. We then fertilize with an organic fertilizer and use soil moist to keep the soil, well, moist. Always score your root balls. If they are tight, it helps the roots adapt and prevent girdling. Here is the finished product except for mulch. We also added rocks for a hard line look. You can also add things like a bird bat or a shepherd hook to hang a basket on for height. We were then fortunate that our small truck could fit into the area and didn't have to haul the mulch and spread at least three to four inches thick. And we used a shredded mulch black with no dyes. I prefer hemlock. Of course, water afterwards gently and maintain that throughout the summer and water before a freeze so the ground freezes wet. Here again are some of the plants we used. We also covered the hydrangea with a netting to prevent deer damage. One note, always use proper tools. If you are not skilled in their use, bring in a professional, use sunscreen gloves and hats and take your time and enjoy the process. Thank you for the opportunity to show you this. This is Katie and Mark from Sparrow Flowers and Gardens in Marcellus, New York.